No, apart from my mom, mm. she wasn't so much of a problem. Okay. At least after I started, I went ahead with it. But the challenges during that time when I had to combine work and school, and it was very tough. And I was also working at a firm, so it became like three jobs in a week. So I had to go to work, go to school, and then the fashion school. The fashion school, too, yes. Wow. So you must be a strong person to be able to do all that. Yeah, it wasn't easy. It was so, so not easy, but... Hi, everyone. Hello and welcome. We are here at Accra with Samira Mohammed. Not Samira Baumia, okay? Samira Mohammed <laughs> at Accra, all right? Um, with on my mission, my vision talk show as usual. You know, um, we are here and it's all about entrepreneurship. How to start? Learning from who those who started before us. So, if you are here with us. I will encourage you to stay. And uh, Samira is a manager of at Mira Collections and a fashion designer at Mira Dot Designs. She became a fashion designer in the year 2019 after learning and compiling different ideas and experiences from the best institutions you can think of. Though she was initially reluctant to start her own business due to many reasons known to herself however she finally got sparked to start after being inspired by at hudaya for her final project she invested much passion and hard work into making a beautiful bridal ball gown with love which has led her way this far for all your casual bridal and ready to go um out ready to wear outfit trust me she will carefully craft your clothes with love and perfection so dear samira mohammed uh, um, maybe i'm i'll be tempted to say samira Baumia because mm -hmm. the both of you are samiras and the both of you are from the same tribe like just that the other one is samira Baumia and you are samira, samira mohammed welcome on our show my mission my vision talk show Welcome, thank you so much, Mr. Yusuf. All right, so um, <clears throat> first of all, I'll say that I'm pleased to have you on the show today. Uh, you know, backstage, I've come to learn that you are an, am an amazing personality, all right? So let me ask you, where do you intend going with all these amazing, you know, uh, business ideas? Very far. I intend to go very far, inshallah, and work with all the ideas I have in mind, make sure I execute all of them, inshallah. All right, so basically, what do you do here at the moment? Okay, here is a combined shop. I do sell other stuff, then I also sew here. You sew what? Like, what do you sew? Okay, basically a fashion designer, so okay. I make dresses, I put things together. At the same time, I also sell female clothing, bills, abaya clothes, and perfumes. Wow, I want my audience to like listen to you, okay, hear what you are saying, so you will kind of like open up a bit, like speak a little bit louder. Let me know like if I want a buyer for my wife, the best place to go is your place. Oh, yes. And any other kind of fashion, like dresses and yes, all that? Yes, yes. Abaya, veils, clothes, materials, and even perfumes. Okay. Yeah, when okay. you need any of that. So, Sister Samira, mm -hmm. um, you see, you, I think you carved Mira from Samira. Yes. Like, why? 
Okay, some friends decided to call me that from school, so I said, why not? It's nice and it's it's cute. So. The name is nice and cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. In fact, it, what, looking at your page, you know, I actually visited your page uh, on Facebook and uh, I could see amazing stuff. Like you have dresses that I, I was like, I fell in love with immediately and mm -hmm. I would like love to get them for my wife. Like, yeah, you do it all by yourself. Yes, but I have people that help me work. As your partners or your workers? Oh, no, you know, my employees? workers. Your workers? Yes. Okay, so you train them by yourself? Some of them are professional tailors and some of them I train them. You train them? Yes. Wow. So all those things I saw there could be collected from your shop? Yes. And, and you own this giant company. Are you alone or do you partner with someone in terms of finance? I'm alone. Alone? Yes. Tell me a little about how you started. I started way back in secondary school, then to university, then to now. Okay, so you did it through university. Yes. And when you finished university, you did not um, apply for any job somewhere? No. Why? I would rather, I would rather apply to myself and employ myself and work can, for myself. Can you explain further why? Like why you don't want the government work? I have so many reasons why, mm -hmm. but I would rather empower myself than to help build somebody's. Okay. Okay. And of course, by way of building yourself now, you've been able to create employment for few people, right? Yes. And I think that is better. Yes. Okay. There are other business ventures that you could have ventured, right? So you chose fashion design. Why? Well, it's more convenient and lucrative for a female and also a Muslim woman. So it's more convenient for me to do. That's why I ventured into this sector. And I have a passion for fashion. Okay. Okay. And the passion is there. Yes, the passion is there mm. since way back. So looking at how good you are at what you do, I would want to know, is it um, inherited the skill? Is it partly inherited or what? No, no, no. Okay, yeah, I would say partly because I have a lot of tailors in my family. And but I've never been interested from the beginning. I developed the passion um, in secondary school. So from there, I decided to go for it. And you went for it? Yes. And now you are the biggest fashion mm -hmm. designer in your family? Well, I wouldn't say so. They've been there for ages, so. I know they've been there for ages, but you know, the um, uh, Abedi Pelis were there in Ghana, the Tony okay. Yaboas were there, okay. but Asamwajan came and we heard about Asamwajan, we heard about Asamwajan more than we heard about the rest of them, uh, you know, achieving more. So I'm saying, do, would you say that you are now the biggest fashion designer in your family? Oh, Alhamdulillah. Wow. Thanks be to God. That is thanks be to God, right? Alhamdulillah. Yes, so, um, in fact, it is getting interesting. In fact, viewers, I, I am learning so much. The passion, the interest, the zeal, and how you are able to do it all alone. I will come back to ask you some interesting questions about your challenges and all that. But I want us to go for a short commercial break. Sure. When we come back, uh, we are going to continue from there. That's all right. Fine. Samira, mm -hmm. now Mira, right? So I, I can call you Mira. Yeah, sure. And feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, well, tell us. I want to know 
in particular, and I know my audience will also want to hear it. Coming along, what would you say was your biggest challenge? Yeah, your biggest challenge. Like, what pushed you that you felt like maybe I want to quit or something? Oh, there's a lot of challenges in in this business, especially having to do with customers one on one, and with all the stress that comes with the work. There's a lot of challenges, but we are pulling through. So your personal challenge, what can you remember? This is what pushed me so hard. What pushed me to do more? No, to want to like stop, but yet you did not. There's and how, so like how you fought stress, it. Like okay. There's so much stress. Sometimes you break down, you want to quit everything. And there's that pressure from the client from some clients, maybe you don't understand each other where there's misinformation or miscommunication and then it goes sideways and it gets so bad that you would feel you want to stop and quit everything at that moment. But moving forward, you realize it's not worth it. You've come too far to just... After all, it's stop. your business. Yes. So you mean um, customers give you attitude? Some customers, I think this, this, this is everywhere in every business, not just this. Some customers do, and sometimes you also make things difficult for yourself. I, I hear um, uh, fashion designers and tailors um, give tough times to customers. You know, you are not um, um, trustworthy. You don't, <laughs> yeah, when, we, when we trust you with our clothes and mm -hmm. uh, when it's time for the occasion, you are nowhere to be found. Yeah, that is there, but on behalf of the tailors, it's not always like that. That's the <clears throat> the intuition people have of tailors, so they are quickly to attack any other tailor, even when that's not the case. It's not always like that. From my own side, I feel tailors are doing way, way, way better than they should do. Tailors, tailors. Um, I don't know for other tailors, but for me, I always want to please my customers. So I wouldn't do anything that would jeopardize that relationship, that would make them not feel happy about me. Intentionally. So, yes, intentionally, exactly. So I always go beyond my way. I always go out of my way to make sure I please them. Wow. And Well, so be before, before I blame that. you, for your lateness in mm. delivering my uh, mm. dress I should put myself in your shoes if I were there maybe it could have been worse is that what you're saying <laughs> no maybe it could have been better maybe it could have been worse wow. so you can't be in my shoe okay because mm. I'm not I'm not yes. a, 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 a fashion designer yes I'm not a fashion yes designer. but maybe a, a, a different another fashion designer would Try to understand where I'm coming from, and it happens. But yeah. could I be a fashion designer? Yeah, if you want to, but the passion has to be there. So it's not going to be easy. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. It's so you didn't, you didn't take it easy, like you didn't have it easily. Oh no, I didn't. It, wow. Everything. No, it wasn't easy. It okay. Wasn't did did, easy, did you I have any challenge that. from your, you know, your family uh, chasing your dream? Well, my mom wasn't for the motion from the beginning. Really? When I wanted to be a fashion designer, yes. That was right after SHS. Okay. So it did not happen, and I went to do something else instead. And so fast forward to university, that was where I gained, I think, a little more independence. Okay. So I enrolled myself in a fashion school. Wow. Then I started from there. All right, so um, Samira, in fact, like you are teaching me a lot of things that I didn't know before. Now your passion led you, right? And uh, you wanted to be independent. And you felt like uh, being an entrepreneur is the best. Yeah. Self-boss. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you say uh, you are a kind of person who never want to work under somebody? Yes. You never wanted to? Even yes, if they maybe, paid millions of... Maybe that person would be my husband if I should work under someone. Really? Yes. 
Oh, shit. I'm married. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> wow. It, it, in fact, it will, it will be amazing because you have the passion, you have the zeal to move. And if you are working with your husband, that would be lovely. When you are finally working with your husband, give me a call and I would love to interview the both of you together. Oh, that's fine. So your mom actually wanted to stop you from following this. Maybe she didn't think I was really passionate or interested about it. But right now she's like the number one supporter. Wow. So So how did you convince her? How did you convince her? Succeed in convincing her? Well, when I first enrolled in a fashion school, she didn't know about it. So I later told her. So she allowed me, went ahead. But then I was still schooling whilst I was in the fashion school. So I was balancing the two of them. So since I could still do my school and then go to the fashion school. She had no problem. Yes. That's how you convinced her. Yes. Intellectually. Mm -hmm. In fact, you are amazing. So, um, wow. I'm even short of words. That is, yeah. so you did that stubbornly, first off. Okay, I just did what I had to. I just followed what I wanted. It was wanted. necessary. Yeah. It was necessary. Yes. But stubbornly. Yes. So somehow. sometimes you have to be stubborn. Yes, sometimes. If it is necessary. Sometimes. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> In fact, it's getting interesting. So apart from your mother, was there any other challenge that you can think about? No, apart from my mom, mm. she wasn't so much of a problem. Okay. At least after I started, I went ahead with it. But the challenges during that time when I had to combine work and school, and it was very tough. And I was also working at a firm. So it became like three jobs in a week. So I had to go to work, go to school, and then the fashion school. The fashion school too, yes. Wow. So you must be a strong person to be able to do all that. Yeah, it wasn't easy. It was so, so not easy, but... So, so, so what were you seeing? What was the image you saw in front of you that told you, don't stop. If you stop, I will die. Like, that image was there telling you, hey, if you stop, you kill me. What was that? Yeah, if I stop, I kill me. You kill the you you yes. saw. Mashallah. <laughs> so you were seeing the future yes. Samira. Yes. The future bright Samira, the yes. big, successful, large. No, I usually don't believe in role models, okay. but I have some few people I could say they are my role models. So. Wow. Can you so name I, one or two? Oh, no. All right, all right. I yes, understand. But... understand. So you actually look into the mirror and you saw your bigger self. You thought in that in certain you, ways. In certain yes. ways. And you felt like if you quit that time, you will be damaging your future self. Mm -hmm. That is, in fact, I'm a writer, okay? And I write uh, inspirational books, motivational books. What I'm hearing today says it all. That is the, 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 the individualism of of uh, entrepreneurs you are really an entrepreneur so tell me uh where would you relax like when would you say i'm okay at what point would you say i'm okay oh i'm okay right now so far so good so yes so i'm always okay inshallah mm. and i would always be so i'll just keep going until wow wow so are you you are amazed like if I look at you, I see, I, I am amazed at your performance. Are you amazed at yourself? Like, are you happy? Like, are you, what do you like about yourself? I like so many things about myself. And I, I get so, I'm, I mean, I'm happy with what I do. I'm happy with the work I do. I'm not being forced to do anything. So that alone is an achievement. And I feel proud of myself to some ex certain extent okay. when I see what I could make wow. and what I'm able to do. Wow. In fact, so financially, you funded yourself. Who supported you the most? Yeah, from the beginning. From the beginning, you funded yourself. So along the way, did you get support from somewhere? Yeah, I think I got a lot of support from a lot of people more of an emotional support and okay right 
okay now let's come to this question we are getting to the, to the end of this video uh very soon but then i would like to ask this question you see we are in ghana today it's very difficult to survive as a business person in ghana i'm sure you are aware so how are you able to survive the system we are pulling through we are doing the best we can although everything is slow but then it's moving so that's the most important so as long as it's moving we keep pushing okay so how big is your company so far like where are your customers located where are they you oh, just i have to? customers i think around ghana and few from outside ghana wow like nigeria yes and where <clears throat> liberia liberia yes so liberians buy from you yes i have some few clients from there that's patronized me mashallah and sierra Masha. leone sierra leone so you have nigeria liberia sierra leone they all buy from you <laughs> yes hey, mashallah I would, I would i would love to bring my first born to you for apprenticeship that's fine you are okay with that yes mashallah in fact so so let's come to ghana we have deliveries to like you are at Accra. Yeah, in mm. nationwide Kumasi, Tamale, Volta region, and within Accra. Wow. Do you find it easy, you know, delivering to all these people? Like Yeah, sometimes there are certain challenges, but most of the time it's easy. So challenge, can you mention it? Yeah, like the customer not getting their product on time. On time. Yes. And maybe sometimes the delivery is not delivering to them and yeah yeah it could be by natural occurrences yes, and all that yes. because since it is transportation and mm -hmm. wow wow so this your, your your company is really big do you see that do you feel that this is how i feel do you feel that yeah, not really big but it's there my shot meaning not as big as you you want it oh to yes be. so you are still moving mm -hmm. towards that angle mm -hmm. wow so if you have a word to say to young entrepreneurs, what would it be? They should never give up and never stop trying. Always keep moving forward. Even when it seems like nothing is working out for them, they should keep moving. Go with the flow. I want you to again look at that audience over there mm -hmm. and tell him or her what you just told me yeah never to give up just keep moving forward keep keep trying your best keep doing keep doing what you are good at and just don't give up it's not easy but you get there inshallah wow you really are a cool person to be with in fact uh i'm sure what i've learned today will really move me in my personal you know endeavors uh, would you like to share with my audience your social media handles where can we sure. find you on social media um you can contact me on whatsapp on zero two six seven three seven three zero zero six and on that was too fast can you repeat it please okay zero two six seven three seven three and zero zero six that's for WhatsApp and on Facebook, you can search for Mira Collections. On Instagram, you can search for Mira Collections and Mira dot design for the bespoke dress. Wow! So if I come to Accra, I'm anywhere around in Accra, and I want to locate your shop. Where do I go? Okay, I'm located at Ashali Butre Little Roses Junction. At Ashali Butre. Mm. That's wow in fact uh viewers we have come to this far and as you can see there is a lot more to learn from samira mira collections and like i said earlier if you want uh you know your bridal clothing your uh ready to wear clothing your i'm anywhere at all if you're a lady okay if you're a lady and you're looking for nice dresses i know customers that refer her to a lot of people that is why we, we we've taken the pain to come all the way from kumasi to have this encounter with our sister samira mohammed 
I am sure you have learned a lot and uh, maybe next time we will bring her on the show with her husband to have a very interesting time. Until then, catch you later. Bye-bye.